Hey everyone, I'm excited to share a powerful moment with you from Dead Man Walking, preached by our very own Pastor Steve Haynes. As we reflect on this message and harrowing events of the Passion Week, we find Jesus on the cross enduring excruciating pain while facing insults and mockery from all sides. Despite this, his response is one of remarkable compassion and forgiveness. That is our Jesus. And in Luke chapter 2, we find that Jesus utters this profound words. Yes, we know it. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Even in the midst of his own sufferings, he extends grace and offers salvation um, to a repentant criminal, demonstrating the transformative power of faith and boundless capacity for healing and redemption which is done for all of us, all right? So let's go deeper in this message together. Watch it with me now. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself, come down from the cross if you are the son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel, let them come down now from the cross and we will believe him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For we said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. Jesus on the cross, excruciating pain. Disciples deserted him. Has passers by insulting him. Has the elders of the city and the chief priests mocking him. The Roman guards mocking him. And on top of that, the guys being crucified with him are mocking him. I mean, don't they have, don't they have their own life to sort of think about? I mean, they've been crucified themselves. They're in a lot of pain. They still have time to throw an insult at Jesus. He's in this place of absolute torment. And Jesus' response in Luke 22, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And Luke's account of one of the robbers, the robber says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. In the midst of the insults, in the midst of everything that he was going through, Jesus was looking after his family. He was forgiving people. He was saving people. In fact, Jesus, in facing man's absolute depravity in the Passion Week that we're looking at, in facing the worst side of humankind, he demonstrates God's absolute majesty. Preach it, Pastor Steve, right? What a moment. I'm sure that spoke to your heart after watching that. You probably have your own personal nuggets to take home with you. Come on, you must. That was profound. So before we conclude this message today, I want to invite you to take a moment with me. If what you've seen today has stirred something within you, if you feel a tug at your heart, that's your heart, I encourage you to take a step of faith with me today. You see, the message of hope and healing we've just witnessed isn't just for others. It's not just for others. It's for you too. It is for you. If you're ready to experience the transformative power of God's love in your life, I invite you to pray with me. Simply repeat the simple prayer with me in your own words or silently in your heart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a repentant heart, acknowledging my sins and shortcomings. I recognize that without you, I am lost in the need of redemption. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior who died on the cross for my sins and rose again. Victorious over death, I surrender my life to you completely, asking for your forgiveness and cleansing power of the blood Fill me with your Holy Spirit, O Lord. Renew my spirit and transform me from the inside out. I declare that from this moment forward, I am yours and you are mine. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and grace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 
Remember, this is just the beginning of a beautiful journey with God. If you've prayed that prayer sincerely, I want to congratulate you and welcome you to the family of believers. Welcome. We're here to support you every single step of the way. If you have any questions or would like to connect further, please reach out to us at Journey of Grace. All the necessary details are in the caption below. May God bless you abundantly as you walk in His love and grace. Have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye.